I'm moving bees from point A to point B and I have and I don't know where the queen is, typically where most of the bees um, you congregate. So oh my gosh. A, here's a video. Wow, I never watched these again. And so that's like a little oh, yeah. clip that you use. That's the queen in there. You've found the queen. I tell you what, that moment feels so good. It's hard to sh capture it in a video. Oh, that's a, a bee telling the other bees where to go. Um, she's fanning oh. her Nazanov gland. So you can actually see the Nazanov gland in that video, in that little clip. So on the back of her abdomen, wow, thank you. Um, <laughs> Jamie on the um, ball. Yeah, the back of her abdomen. You can kind of see it. So see how she has all those little black stripes? Mm -hmm. And then at the end, you can, yeah, that's, it's a little gland that's exposed. And that's one of the pheromones, the ways they communicate. And she is signaling to all the other bees where to go. And she's letting them know. You can see them start to move down and into the new hive. It was getting dark. I was racing daylight there. But um and then they they will eventually do the rest of the work for you. Well, you're um, doing this with no beekeeper suit, nothing on your hands, nothing. Yeah, this was a really great, great colony of bees. Are there bad colonies of bees? You know, there are certainly bees that can be more defensive, but... Why would that be? Well, if they don't have all the resources they need, if they're in a bad spot, if they don't have a queen, um, you know, a large colony tends to be more defensive than a smaller one because they have more resources to defend. So sometimes you'll see me do this and it's a, it's a small swarm. So it's a swarm.